Hello guys and welcome back to part 5 of this how to build a small church tutorial and um, we've had a little think about what we're going to do for the entrance and um, at the moment I've kind of settled for a design that looks a little like this uh, we'll place one slab there see how that looks nope still not happy with it <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be satisfied with this completely uh, but that's what we've settled with um, and that's what we're going to go with as well what I've done what changes I've made on this side I've placed an upside down stair uh, birch wood stair and I've done the same on the opposite side and then I placed an upside down stair on either side there and as you can see placed a slab there um, and what I've done on the ground level as well, above the door, I've replaced, uh, sorry, I've placed a cobblestone stair block upside down, and then above it, I've placed down some birchwood stairs to create kind of like a little of a cover area really so you can just walk in so you've got a bit of shelter before you walk in through to the entrance to the church and then down either side I've made some cobblestone wall pillars as supports and then directly above the door so that's where your upside down stair brick is there I've then placed cobblestone stair brick facing that way and then gone up three panes of glass and then placed an upside down cobblestone stair block there and that is pretty much what I've done with the exterior uh, I suppose what we need now is a door actually just to complete the entrance uh, yeah we'll use we'll use this door here that's fine well actually let's have a look at a birch door See if I can remember where all the doors are. Not there. Here they are. Birch door. We might as well keep it matching. See how that looks. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. So now as we go through into the church, um, as I've explained in the last video, that we did uh, you should have completed your stone slab floors so all the grass is gone inside the interior and every single block is replaced with stone slabs okay we're following that uh, little details that I can think of straight away uh, right here underneath the uh, the glass panes we could create some sort of window frame sill uh, get rid of that door and then we could use some cobblestone walls as pillars or columns and then above that we could probably use know, for, for example stone brick slabs maybe possibly yeah that, that'll work and then what we could do fill in that gap uh, something like that I suppose yeah that's fine that's all right that'll do beautiful um, with this pillar here this column I think felt like yeah, kind of toyed with the idea of changing it around and actually building an arch uh, an arch frame support for the build like I've done here uh, and I think I've decided against it actually uh, because there's something I want to try out um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend well not extend build like a row support going all the way through using these cobblestone bricks 
uh, and it kind of creates a cross which I think is quite symbolic for what we are uh, trying to do here and then underneath that uh, underneath the first two stone brick blocks we could place two upside down stairs which gives it shape yep I'm rolling with that let's see what happens if you place two on top as well beautiful and then what we could do get rid of that block there fill it with a uh, stone brick block and you know what that looks that looks really nice actually that'll be like a focal point as you come in through the entrance and the first thing you see when you enter a place of holy worship is that cross there above an arch that is just beautiful and then you just walk past that and then you're into the main part of the church maybe we could put the seating areas around here I suppose we could keep the uh, the hymn books and the prayer books in bookshelves at the back here, just here. Um, maybe we can have a think of what else we could put along here as well. That, hmm, I'm quite happy with that. So what we could do here and here, I suppose we could use some of these cobblestone walls and grab some torches Might need them. get rid of them uh, and we'll start lighting up the place so that we can actually see what we are doing is it necessary for that one there perhaps not yeah that's okay that's fine We'll keep that. We'll keep that as it is. Um, so now that we've uh, <clears throat> done a few alterations there to that column, uh, is it worth doing the same on this one? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll think about that one. Not sure what to do. Uh, I suppose we could do this, couldn't we? Let's just have a roll with this, see what this looks like. Get rid of that. Place another cobblestone wall in there. It's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that looks all right. Yeah, we'll we'll settle with that. That looks that looks okay. That looks fine. Uh, which one I could do? Let's have a look. How does that look? That's better. It's a lot better. Uh, let's just get rid of get rid of them. Replace them with uh, some stairs. How's that look? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll keep that. I may change it again, but we'll, we'll keep that as it is for the time being. <clears throat> So what else I wanted to do um, with the interior is the roof. We've um, shaped the exterior part of the roof. Now I want to have a look at the interior because I'm not being funny. Um, this just looks ugly. It's, it's horrible. It doesn't look nice. It just looks straight lined. It looks plain. It looks very boring, very dull. And it's got no shape to it whatsoever. So what you're going to need now is your birchwood slabs. And we're going to use our wooden stairs and all we're going to do is just we're going to fill in some of the gaps oops that's a uh, fail and we're just going to try and create a little bit of shape to this roof so that it doesn't look boring uh, then we'll get some slabs 
place them there and there and you can see immediately what we have done there we have created a little bit of a shape to the interior of the roof and it doesn't look boring at all uh, we've made something look a lot more interesting than what it was to begin with so we'll continue all the way along uh, place one there yep that'll do place a stair block at the side there and I suppose we could do the same for this side as well so get rid of that and block there and place upside down stair block there to create that little edge there beautiful beautiful uh, continuing along with the upside down stair theme um, and then you should have something that looks like that in theory and let's just have a quick look around there you go you can see immediately what that has done in terms of uh, for the shape of uh, this build with the arch I suppose what we could do as well we could place some of the cobblestone stairs around the uh, the cobblestone frame as well and you can see immediately the impact that that's had on this build uh, place one there can we get one there yep do we need no I don't, I don't I think that might be impeding on the cross a little bit yeah I don't, I don't want that resting on the cross because I want you to be able to see the cross as you come in so we'll leave them two stair blocks out of there uh, and that'll look okay it won't look um, out of place at all it'll actually look like it's it's meant to be there so yeah that looks a lot better in my opinion a lot better so we'll carry on with the rest of the roof and the frame and uh, I'll quickly whiz through this and then we'll have a look at something else that we can uh, we can do in this part of the tutorial uh, which I'm sure I don't think there'll be many parts left now actually as we're uh, we're getting very close to the end of this tutorial um, the village outside I'm thinking about maybe trying to incorporate into some sort of tutorial theme build maybe we can have a look at um, building maybe a small castle somewhere or a little outpost fort or maybe some other additional buildings like a windmill or a little farm or any other buildings um, I've, I've not yet made my mind up what I want to do uh, just yet uh, but I've got a few little ideas churning around inside my head and uh, I'm sure I will come to some sort of uh, conclusion as to what I will be wanting to do but I definitely want to create some sort of uh, it's kind of like a medieval themed village uh, maybe make some other little villages maybe some small towns big towns a city uh, a, a palace of some sort you know it, the ideas just keep flowing we are not going to be short of ideas uh, for this map that is for sure right that I believe is this part of the roof which is completed now uh, yep that looks much better straight away looks so much better uh, now what we need to do is turn our attention to the roof here uh, what we're going to need to do is place some upside down birch stairs all the way along there okay and the same again on the inside here so it completes the pattern and finishes off and tidies everything up very nicely okay so that completes the roof and the interior um, now we'll need to have a look at the uh, the arches now around the window frames for the interior 
Um, I need to be a little bit careful because I don't want to take up too much space. Although saying that though, I'm sure I'll be able to get away with one block either side uh, and perhaps fit some uh, some pews, some seating down the middle. Yeah, that, that could work. Anyway, let's let's have a look and see what what we can do uh, to try and give the in, the inside part of this uh, window and all the other windows along here a little bit of shape. Um, so we'll take our what do we need cobblestone stairs maybe. Hmm. I'll just have a quick play around this window arch here just to see what I can come up with um, in terms of a design and if I like it I'll keep it if not then we'll just get rid of it oops come on there we go Hmm. I'm not too sure about that. Doesn't look right. I know what I want to do and I know how I want it to look, but it's it's actually getting it to that stage. Plus it looks like there's far too much cobblestone used. To create that as well, it just doesn't look right. Uh, wrong button. We can get rid of the uh, the birchwood slabs. Let's try the uh, the stone bricks. See if that makes any difference. Because sometimes it can be just a not the brick that you're using, but the the particular colour. A brick that you use that can really uh, draw out um, the design and the, the specific type of look that you're wanting to achieve with your build. Um, how does that look? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. So I'm thinking now with the arch here, the original cobblestone, it, it kind of blended. Let's, let's try it again with the cobblestone stairs. I um, appreciate your patience here at this part of the build but I'm sure as you can understand this has to look right otherwise it just completely compromises the whole build and you have a section that you absolutely despise and hate the look of. Um, so I'm hoping that I've I've got something here that I can convince myself that, that looks right and looks okay. Um, I think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get it, actually, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll roll with that uh, without wasting too much time. So, we'll use stone brick block stairs there and there. On the corners of where the windows are. Same again on this side here. And then you're going to take your cobblestone wall and you're going to go, there we go, up till you get to this level here where this glass pane is. And continue building up 
your stone walls all the way around on each window uh, around each window uh, I should say there we go and the last part here and once when we finish this bit you're going to take your cobblestone stairs come on jump please thank you and then you're just going to follow the pattern have I done that right? I think I've done that block too high actually I have actually so where you've built your cobblestone walls actually take it down a block because you're following the pattern up above the windows with the cobblestone stairs and then that goes along the top that's better yeah that looks okay it's better than having a flat shape on the inside and it doesn't look boring beautiful a lovely thing so yeah I mean the the shapes and the extra dimensions that you use to create a bit of depth and shape uh, to your buildings not just on the exterior but also the interior which I'm hoping that I'm teaching you guys you can do you can actually use and incorporate them into some of your more uh, elaborate buildings and fancy mansions and palaces and castles and things so you you make the whole building both on the outside and inside far more interesting um i do anyway because it's just the way i like to build uh, i always like to make things look as interesting uh, as possible regardless of how simplistic the building is so oops i keep failing there we go cobblestone slab and there we have it shape perfectly fitted i think so myself as well and that cross i am so happy with how that's turned out i was a little bit worried that that was going to look a little bit like an eyesore with the rest of the build but i've actually managed to find a, uh, a purpose for it and you know what i am so happy with that it looks fantastic um so yeah i suppose we might as well uh, can we do it yeah i suppose we might as well carry on with the design on uh, on these two windows as well Ooh, excuse me right so let's get our cobblestone walls again and we're going to go up not there to there and the same on this side i'm going to go up like that and then take our cobblestone stairs i'm going to go along the edge oops Come on. There we go. Oops. Along there like that. And then along the top part of the glass pane, the highest point of this window, placing your stone slab just above like that. And then following down with the stone stairs, the cobblestone stairs I should say don't want to confuse you guys and there we go and that's finished everything off very nicely in terms of uh, the walls, the columns, the shapes and I think that's tied everything in rather nicely and beautifully um, so yeah i think this has actually timed it just right um which i suppose what we could do place some torches down just to light the place up a little bit don't it looking too dark um yeah place some there on the corners 
well, what we're going to do now is we'll probably wrap this uh, this video up right here and uh, in the next video what we'll do uh, or next episode I should say we'll actually start looking at furnishing the uh, the interior of this uh, this church and not forgetting also we need to think about how we're going to construct this bell tower um, which I think is going to be somewhere here and what I might have to do is uh, use the cobblestone walls again uh, to suspend down to create a bell. Maybe we could do a single bell. Maybe I might actually do two linked side by side. That would be interesting. Hmm. Could do. Yeah, I could build two bells. But it depends, it depends on the shape. I might just settle for just the one. Um, just to show that we do have a bell in uh, this tower. Uh, I'll get rid of one block there. So yeah, that, that concludes anyway today's video. And we'll, we'll definitely look at furnishing the inside of uh, this church. Uh, and then we'll leave the last part where we do the bell. Uh, and then have a look at perhaps making a, uh, a staircase all the way up to the bell, bell tower or we might just uh, hmm, it's a bit difficult when there's so many windows in here um, I'll have a think anyway uh, we might just build a bell up there and maybe make a platform somewhere which you can get up where you can operate the bell by a, uh, a rope which is like a pulley lever which you can uh, pull to ring the bell so yes, anyway, if you have enjoyed watching this video and tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, videos, tutorials and gameplays. Um, I hope to see you in the next instalment of this uh, tutorial build. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much if you have uh, made it this far. Take care everyone and keep buzzing.